Hi class, I hope you're ready for our guided search assignment. Before you get started, there's a few things that you'll need to do. Make sure that you have downloaded the Word document of the guided search assignment so that you can work with that as we go through. That's what it looks like. If you'd like, you can also print a PDF version of the instructions or you can toggle back and forth between that and the Fullerton College Library homepage. So at the bare minimum, you'll need two tabs open, your guided search assignments and the Fullerton College Library. Please note that you can stop the, the recording at any time so that you can follow along, then restart it so that you can go to the next step. So let's get started, shall we? The first thing that we're going to do is start on the library homepage and we're going to perform a one search. We're looking for opioid addiction. And since I've searched for it before, there it is. We're going to get a lot of results, but it's always a good idea to start with too many than it is to put in so much stuff that you don't have anything that's usable. If you notice, we have more than 26,000 results. Another reason why we start broad is so that we can take a look at a research starter. Research starters are fantastic. They give you background information, especially about a, a topic that you may be unfamiliar with, give you some ideas for further search terms. We're going to go ahead and select more so that we can look at the whole thing. They're usually fairly long. Many of them are encyclopedia entries. And if we look at our instructions, we need to copy and paste one of the citations from the research starter here. So I'm going to go back to the library and I'm gonna just choose this one. I like this one. It's the Surgeon General. Highlight it, right click to copy, go back to your document, and I'm gonna just paste it in here. Okay, number one is finished. Now I'm gonna go back. Now that we have checked out our research starter, let's go to our next step. We're going to use the advanced search. And since we saw that it wasn't opioid addiction, but an opioid abuse, we're going to change our term and search again. We have a lot of results, over 29,000. And our second task on our worksheet is to find a title of one of the periodicals. So we're going to scroll down and we are going to be looking for a periodical. Nothing on the first page. We're still in books. Nothing on the second page. Here we go, two periodicals. So I'm gonna choose this first one. And in order to copy and paste this, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the title because it's a lot easier to copy this than it is to copy a hyperlink. So right click, copy, bring up my document and enter here for the second. And there we go. We've now completed two parts of our guided search. Let's go back and go to the next step. One of the things that we have 
taken a look at in the past is the idea of phrase searching. So we're going to go back to our search and put it in quotation marks to turn it into a phrase search. Opioid abuse in quotes, we'll search one more time. Notice how that got rid of a lot of our searches. According to our assignment template, we are going to look for the 13th result, which is this one right here. Click on the title, copy it, and now we're going to paste it into our document. Okay, now we go back. I know it's a lot of going back and forth, but we're not done yet. If I take a look, I keep seeing opioid abuse bolded in the subjects area. So that tells me that opioid abuse is not just a keyword that we can search for, but it is a subject term. To change it from keyword to subject, go to select a field, use the drop down menu, select the SU subject terms, and we'll search again. I would imagine that we would have a lot fewer results, and we do. Now we're down to 6,190. But we need to go to the 13th result. So we'll scroll down again. Here's number 13. Notice how it's a different one than we looked at before. Click on the title, highlight, right click, copy, and let's go ahead and put it in our search assignment. And just so you know, when you guys are doing this assignment, you may get different results because remember they're constantly adding to the database. So your number 13 may not be the same number 13 as mine. Let's go back. We're not done yet. Now I'm going to think a little bit about my research starter. And one of the things that I saw in there was the idea of behavior. I'm going to add behavior in as my second term, just to get a feel for what that does, and search. Now we're really cutting things down. It's 358. For this one, we are going to get the first result. So let's go ahead and click on the title, highlight, right click, copy and paste into our document. But guess what? I'm not done yet. I'm going to do a little bit of truncation now because this looked for the idea of behavior, but maybe I'm looking for also behavioral. So remember truncation is going to use the asterisk. And then I'm going to think about behavior therapy or behavioral therapy and add that in. So now I've modified that second term and we'll search again. Ah, we are still getting fewer and fewer. For this one, we're going to look at the second. Select the title, highlight, right click, copy, paste it into our document. We're getting our homework done, but quick.
Okay, back we go. Now we are not done yet. Next, what we're going to do is we are going to select on the left hand side, the limit to a peer reviewed. We want to get a good peer reviewed article for one of our results. So here we go. It's going to automatically update. We're down to 148. We've added the peer review. We need the fifth result. Click on the title, highlight, right click, copy, put it in our assignment. Getting close, getting closer. And let's go back to our search. And the final limiter that we're going to do is the publication date. So right now these articles go from 1990 to 2018. Remember yours may be different because they could have added things between when I recorded this and the time that you do it. But we're going to highlight this first number and we're going to go to the year 2015 and hit enter and it's going to pull out the things that aren't correct. We are down to 48. We're going to go down to the 8th, select the title, highlight it, right click, copy, and paste it into our assignment. The only thing that you need to finish on your template are the last two questions and those you'll answer on your own. I do suggest that you take a little bit of time to think metacognitively about the research process. Remember, stop in between if you need to, to follow along. Make sure that you don't get lost in the weeds. You should get down to right around 40 to 50 documents. If you have a lot more or a lot fewer, maybe you've missed a step. Please reach out for assistance if you need it. And that'll take you through the guided search. Not too difficult. It is kind of attention to detail oriented, so make sure that you are following along. It's worth 10 points. It's a pretty important skill to learn because one of the things that you're going to need to do is to use your own topic and use some of these tools. So without further ado, I will let you go. This is probably the longest video that we will have this entire semester, but I think it's pretty important for you to be able to see what an actual search looks like. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.